Okay, in this video we're going to look at two examples of applications of Fermat's Little Theorem. So just as a reminder, Fermat's Little Theorem says the following. If the GCD of A and P is equal to 1, then A to the P minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod P. So the first example we're going to look at is the following, 5 to the, th to the power 3571 mod 11. So here's what we know. We know that 5 to the 11 minus 1, which is 10, is congruent to 1 mod 11. So we're going to use that fact along with the division algorithm to simplify this. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll write 3,571 as uh, 357 times 10 plus 1. So the division algorithm with 3,571 and 10. And 10 because 10 is 11 minus 1, our prime minus 1. And now what we'll do is we'll say 5 to the 3, 5, 7, 1. So that will be equal to 5 to the 3, 5, 7 times 10 plus 1. And now we can use exponent rules to simplify this. So that's 5 to the 10 power to the 357 times 5 to the first power. Great. But again, we know that 5 to the 10 is 1. So we can replace that with 1 to the 357 power, which is just 1. So that means this is all congruent to 5 mod 11. Great, that finishes that example. So we'll use a similar strategy for this next example. The ending is just a, a little bit more uh, complicated, but not very much. So again, we'll use the division algorithm with uh, four, and in this case, 18, because 18 is one minus 19. Sorry, not with four, but with 100,000, 100,000 and 18. And uh, what we can do is write 100,000 as, uh, let's see, 5,555 times 18 plus, so our remainder in this case is 10. Good. So we have that. So that means we can write 4 to the 100,000 as 4 to the 18 to the 5,555 times 4 to the 10. Again, using the same strategy as we did here, but I just uh, skipped a couple of the very, very simple steps where we used our exponent rules. And then again, we know that 4 to the 18 is congruent to 1 mod 19 by Fermat's little theorem. 18 is 1 less than 19, so that tells us that this is congruent to 4 to the 10th power modulo 19. And so now we want to simplify 4 to the 10th power. And we'll do that by the method of successive squaring. So we'll notice that 4 to the first power is equal to 4. And I'll do all calculations over here mod 19, although I won't keep writing mod 19. And then we have 4 squared is equal to 16. And then 4 to the fourth power will be equal to 16 squared. But that's a number that I can't square very quickly in my head. So what I'll instead do is use the fact that 16 is the same thing as negative 3 mod 19, which allows us to say 4 to the fourth power is negative 3 squared or 9 mod 19. And then finally, 4 to the 8th power will be equal to 9 squared, which is equal to 81, mod 19, which is equal to 5, mod 19. Great. So we did this method of successive squaring, and then now we'll use the fact that every number has a binary representation. So, in other words, we'll use the fact that 10 can be written as a sum of powers of 2. It is 8 plus 2, which tells us that 4 to the 10 is equal to 4 to the 8 times 4 squared. But now that will be equal to 5 times negative 3 mod 19. Again, I'll leave off the mod 19. And so 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 mod 19. 
But now we'd like to put that uh, as a number between 0 and 18, so we can add 19 to negative 15, and now notice that is congruent to 4 mod 19, and that finishes this example.